This is Hans the Ramen Reader coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today, wow, it's a pretty big day for me, but uh, we went shopping this weekend and I'd never seen this in the pack form in the wild, but they had it at Winco. This is the Ramen Express pack version of their beef variety. I saw the beef, I saw the chicken, didn't see the spice. But I've had the beef one once, and I found it to my liking. So I thought I'd give it another go. Not to see if I now disliked it, but, well, there's the difference. The sachets are different. That's cool. I got them a little more, more done up. But it seemed like a nice day to do a couple that aren't going to get, like, review posts. Usually, if I've kind of come up with a new theory on how to do things, and that is uh, when I do something that I've already done before, if it's been like close to 10 years, then it'll get a new review number. Or if it's something I've done before and it says like new recipe, it'll get a new review, new packaging, it'll get a new review. If it's that worthy of reviewing. Um, things like Shin go through a lot of uh, review uh, of uh, changes that if I do the old one, people are gonna be like, what's that? I've never even seen that before. Although actually not so much with Shin, but with other varieties, there's a lot of changes that go along, so. Anyways, let's do our quote of the day from the book uh, Momofuku Ando Speaks. These are quotes by the guy who invented the instant noodle on this auspicious day because this is the day that I came, I just dropped the uh, 2021 top 10 instant noodles of all time, 2021 edition. So I'm stoked. Uh, it's rolling out. People seem to be looking at it. That's cool. Number. Okay, now we're here we go. Number 265. I eat sardines, bones and all, at least once every three days. Thanks to this, I still have all my own teeth, though I'm already past 90. Okay. Far be it for me to dispute a 90-year-old man. I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. Maybe the bones scratch his teeth? I don't think so, though. I don't think... No, I don't know, because the sardines you get in the can usually are filleted. So, maybe that's another... I mean, I eat oatmeal every day, so maybe that's kind of a hint. Boy, ladies and gentlemen, we had some extremely warm weather this weekend. Holy moly, it... It's, uh, it was like April, uh, April 18th, 2021, yesterday, and uh, it hit 80 degrees. That's pretty hot for Western Washington this time of year. That's for damn sure. And uh, I went out, I spent six hours, I'd say at least six hours in the sun, and I got a pretty good burn. <laughs> it was well worth it though. I spent about four hours out the day before. It's like, ah, oh, the weather's getting nice. Finally. It's not like I get out in the morning and it's ice cold. It's pretty good temp. This morning I decided, you know, I'm just going to hang out and do apartment laps inside. We don't have that downstairs neighbor anymore. So until we get a refresh, uh, a refresh of our underneath neighboring, I'm gonna try to do apartment laps in the morning inside. Cause those, those are. I get so many more steps. I do so much more moving when I do it outside in the morning. You know, I got lights, this and that. Moving into 
Doctor. It's funny. So somebody's brought up this point before. Let me turn this down a little bit. So somebody's brought this up before. The uh, fact that so on this package, it says use two cups or 400 milliliters of water. Two. It's like use two cups. In other words, 400 milliliters of water. 400 milliliters of water and two cups are two completely different amounts of liquid. I would say two cups is probably more like 450, 460 mils, whereas 400 mil, I mean, 50 milliliters might not sound like a lot. It's actually a decent amount. That's like a quarter cup. So I went with the 400 and that way we get a stronger broth, a tastier broth, a more succulent broth. A broth you can talk about. So, it's been a little while since I've had this. I want to say like maybe six months. Hmm. I like this stuff. I gotta, I gotta be honest. I like this stuff. Uh, broth. Yeah, this is good. I recommend it. I also, well, I recommend a lot of things. But I recommend this. Chinese sausage, adding that in. Not exactly vegetarian, which these noodles actually are vegetarian. So. I hear my son driving my little daughter and Mimi insane right now, which they reciprocate that duty quite well. Shush! I swear. They've found a really new uh, game that they like to play. Let's see if we can make I can make my sister angrier at me, or if I can make my brother angrier. They're just all about getting, like, under each other's skin. And every once in a while, one of them gets, like, really teed off. And, uh, slugs the other one. And then they go and whine and cry about it to me, and I'm like, well, maybe you should have, you know... Maybe you should have thought about that before you said the same word in her face, like, 50 times think maybe next time less of the irritating repetitive behavior okay. so I did a live stream last night making eggs here is one two I've been pondering the idea of getting like a really fancy like Japanese knife for just slicing eggs in half. Cause I like this, I like this knife. But the thing is though, see, when I slice it, my trick is I slice it in half and then go like this. So I've got the one half that slides off and it's pointing up so the goo doesn't come out. But the one that's on top, then I can flip it over and slide it the rest of the way off. This isn't always broad enough to do that and it starts leaking out. So I think I might actually do something like grab a, go online and find one of those really trippy, they've got like fluorescent colored like Ginsu or whatever you want to call them. I really am not versed on the whole uh, world of the knife, of cutlery. But maybe I'll have to do myself a little immersion course in that. But there's our Chinese sausage, there's our egg. Are you even able to see this? Yeah, you can kind of see it. Let's make it. There you go. And we've got, this is for the next one. But yeah, it's called Ramen Express Beef. It, it, 
comes in a pack like a standard pillow pack and it's good it's it's good stuff I highly recommend it if you like the other domestics give this one a try it's got extra protein in it nice folks too and it is made in the USA on the East Coast rather than the West so there is that oh hi Mimi have you eaten your your lunch yeah, eat all your lunch. Go, go, go. Uh, my daughter, the three-nager, ladies and gentlemen. Or no, I'm sorry. She's a, she's a four-nager now. No, 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 no. Go eat your lunch. Go. Bye-bye. Go eat your lunch. Mimi, I said go eat your lunch. what'll happen is she won't eat her lunch she'll have her school and then she'll get cranky and then right after school she'll demand a snack and she won't eat that either what do they say you can lead a kid to food but you can't make them eat i don't know i never had that problem i don't know what's the deal with these newfangled kids they make these days there's something wrong with them <laughs> Yeah, Rotato. Give us some comfort from these crazy children. Cool, thanks for watching. Yeah, that was a, uh, I got a couple of them actually. That was a Beef Ramen Express, and then they also made the chicken one. I gotta say, they, got, they make cups too. The pillow packs are where it's at. Uh, tomorrow's one will be Egashimaru. This is a Kagoshima Tonkatsu, I think. Animal free. But, uh, ooh, I like how it says animal free, but that sure looks like a big slab of pork joshu on there, <laughs> so I don't know. Anyways, it's been on the Ramen Raider, wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one, and bye-bye. Uh, freaking thing. Bye.